Hello guys and welcome back to DDT Tech Solutions. So are you having problems or issues connecting your Wi-Fi to Edroom Wi-Fi? Uh, trying to connect Edroom Wi-Fi, whether it's a school Wi-Fi, Edroom school Wi-Fi, whether it's um, an organization which is this Edroom, probably this can also uh, help for other kind of Wi-Fi services. So if you have problems connecting Edroom on your PC or maybe due to this current Windows 11, which uh, makes it unable to connect to your Edroom Wi-Fi because of the privacy, um, this video is the right video for you. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can solve all these things. Yes, and if you're new to this channel, welcome. If you're old to this channel, welcome back. If you haven't subscribed, Subscribe, hit the notification bell, and let's get started. So all you have to do is to just get your laptop, your PC, or whatever, and let's type in registry. So registry editor, we're gonna go to registry editor. When you click on editor, you need to give permission. So it's going to come on this way. You're gonna see computer, and uh, so we're gonna. Uh, take the the third option which is H key local machine so it's probably will be like this so you click on the arrow uh, you're going to see all the stuffs and then we're going to go to uh, system so the system so you have to click on the arrow so we can have the options here and then you are going to also look for current control sets so that's the third option beneath system we're going to click on the arrow current control set and then we go to services that's the last option beneath the current control set we click on the arrow and we have all this so we're going to look for rasman so it's in alphabetical order let's go to the arrow column we're going to scroll down a bit scroll down So R R R R we are in the R column I look for Rasman. So I have the Rasman here and I'm also going to click on the arrow and then also click on PPP. Click on the arrow and I have PPP. I also look for EAP, which is the second or the last option here, and click on the arrow and then I'll click on 13. We have 13 to the 15 says I'm going to click on 13. So this is 13. All right, great. So this is what we have now. We have a list of um uh items or data here. Uh, we are going to create a new um page. Right click and click on new and click on binary value. So and click on binary value. We are going to type in TLS version. So you should type in the correct way so this is how i'm going to do it capital t small l and small s then the version you don't you don't you, you don't need to um provide a space it's, it's together okay so tls in the version capital v then the small uh, the rest will be in smaller cases so version so I already have the TLS version here, as you can see. So I think I'm not going to do this. So after just typing your TLS version, after typing your TLS version, double click on it, and you're going to see options which gives you decimal, uh, hexadecimal, and also decimal option. So we are going to click on hexadecimal. And um, we are going to type in FC20 as seen here, FC small letters and 20. And also your decimal, make sure you have this right uh, figure here that is 4032. And so when you're done, you just click on OK. And then you go back to connect to your Edroom. Then after doing that, give me the feedback we need in the comment section because this is how we are going to solve it. 
So when you connect to Edrom, I expect that it will connect perfectly for you. So provide me with a feedback in the comment section. If you like this video, kindly subscribe, hit the notification bell. As well, if you have any questions, let me know in the comment section. Thank you very much.